Hey, what's up you guys? I hope everyone is having an amazing summer. We are almost at the end, but the weather's still nice, still lots to do. I am doing a little book haul today and I haven't done a book haul in a long time. So there's probably books here that I'm missing that I have bought since my last one that I just couldn't think of right now. But all in state, I actually haven't really been buying books that much. Quite a few of these are gifts and or were bought for like a specific purpose. And just like overall, I haven't really been buying books because I've been trying my hardest to get down at my physical TBR with um, <laughs> mixed success, I think, because the world of audiobooks has been very tempting to me this year. But overall, I have bought a few books, so we're going to talk about them today and also the ones that have been gifted as well. And if you have any thoughts on any of these books, I've read quite a few of them at this point now, but any thoughts, leave them in the comments down below and let me know. What you think of them. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and please subscribe it helps on my channel I believe. <laughs> That's what they say. I don't know if I believe them. And yeah let's get talking about books. The first book I'm going to talk about is The Sign of the Devil by Oscar de Muriel and this is the seventh and final book in his Frey and Migray series which if you have been a subscriber to me for a while you may know that I love this series. I discovered it in 2019, I think, and like binged all the books that were already out and then have been reading every one that came out since then. And this came out yesterday and I actually went to his book launch in Edinburgh. It was such a nice little event and I got it signed and I got free wine. It was great. I actually asked a question as well. If you watched my Cassandra Clare video, I was like, I'm going to start asking questions when I go to things like this. Um, and then Cassandra Clay was just online, but this one I actually I put my hand up and asked a little question. Um, so yeah, it was really fun and I had such a good time. I've already started it, I'm about 100 pages in. But this is a detective, mystery, historical fiction <laughs> novel set in 1880s Edinburgh. Although I think this book is set in 1890, but the series overall was in the 1880s. And all the mysteries are kind of way where they could have like a supernatural element to them, but they could also not. And one of the detectives is like really a strong believer in all that stuff, another one is not. And they like go back and forth. They're like a really fun team. Um, and I just overall really love the series. And I can't believe this is the last one, but I'm so excited to finish it. I'm gonna just read this over the next two days, like as much as I can. So very excited for that. Next, I'll actually talk about the other book that I got at a book event, so that was this edition of Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare, which is the first book in her Last Hours trilogy, but the gag is, it's actually just a um, sleeve which is exclusive, I already had this book, but um, that's okay, it's still cute, it's still fun, and yeah, it's Shadowhunter books, um, I feel like everyone on planet Earth probably knows about them if you're watching bookshop videos, but it's a YA series about these people that fight demons, and this is like book 5000, so that's as much as you're getting from me. Next I'm going to talk about um, some gifts. So Andrew bought me, I went to see Wicked in London with Mafalda and Beatrice when we were there for Yalk, and it was actually really good. It's not something I ever would have went to see by myself, but my father wanted to see it and I'm so glad she did. Like, it really was fun. So Andrew bought me a book, Wicked, and then the sequel, or the first sequel, Son of a Witch. And these are by Gregory Maguire. And he actually tried to read this and he DNF'd it about 200 pages in. So <laughs> that's not really the best sign, but I'll give it a try. Um, I know that compared to the musical, apparently this is like very political. And the Wicked book is kind of a retelling of The Wizard of Oz uh, from like the Wicked Witch's perspective and it just shows how she's not actually a Wicked Witch. Um, she was like framed and set up and stuff like that. It's really entertaining, the musical anyway. I haven't read the book but the musical was really entertaining. And then I don't know anything about Son of a Witch. Um, I just know it's a sequel and I'm assuming it's about the Son of the Witch, <laughs> based on the title, that's what you kind of guess. But yeah, I definitely am not going to get to these before I go travelling, but I'm glad I have them and I'm definitely going to try book one and hopefully I love it and I'll also read book two. We can only hope. He also bought me, or, okay, I think he bought it for himself and then he also DNF'd it, but that is Daisy on the Outer Line by Ross Sayers and this is a Scottish author and this book is about a girl who, well I'll just read the back a little bit. Um, She's a selfish student who makes a scene at her stepdad's funeral and she drunkenly falls asleep on the Glasgow subway and wakes up to find she's tra travelled back in time and to make matters worse, she is in someone else's body. So to make amends for her behaviour, she must save a life but she doesn't know who, how or where to begin. 
She'll have to find it fast if she wants to make it back to her old life and avoid being trapped in the wrong timeline forever. I heard about this for a while because it is published by Kranikin Publishing, which publishes the Sword of Light and that whole series that I love, The Four Treasures by Caroline Logan. Um, so I've like seen them advertise this loads of times before and actually thought it sounded really interesting and then he brought it over and was like, oh I don't really want this if you would do it. And I was like, yes please. So that's exciting and this is one that I'm really hoping to read before I go away. That's all the gifts, I believe. Um, let's talk about a book that I didn't really love. So on the topic of Scottish authors, this is A Study in Scarlet by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And this is the very first book in the Sherlock Holmes series, which there's like a million books. I didn't really like it. I ended up not even reading it physically. I listened to an audiobook because it was free on Audible, like Unlimited. Um, the text is kind of big. I honestly can't even really remember what my issue with it was because I was just bored. I think I was just bored more than anything else. Um, and I'm pretty sure it went on this whole like backstory, like flashback thing. I can't remember. I just remember I didn't like it. Um, I gave it two stars. So yeah. Books I didn't give five stars to though. So I recently bought the entire Gone a series by Michael Grant and I read Gone a couple months ago. I got all six of these books for £10, which is incredible. What is that equal? Like, I don't know, less than £2 each. And I flew through um, the five I hadn't read yet in like two weeks, if even that. I just could not put them down. They're so addicting. I will talk about them more in my July wrap up, but basically, it's a YA dystopian series about this town of kids, well no it's this town, and something happens where all of the adults and everyone over the age of 15 disappears, so it's just the kids left, and some of them start to develop powers and then animals start to mutate and all sorts of things just go wrong, and as you can tell things just get worse and worse, like hunger, you can kind of tell what the theme is going to be, lies, plague, very obvious theme, fear, and then light is the final one, and yeah. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it so much. I think now I just have one book left, and this is Arushai Sha Arusha and The End of Time by Roshani Choks Chokshi. And I bought this because Michelle from Thor was another letter, and one of her friends whose name is escaping me right now are uh, starting up a little read along monthly challenge thing where you read all of the books in the Rick Riordan Presents series or like publishing line and this is the very first one I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up like every month because like I'm going to be away and stuff and I also I think these are all middle grade which I don't mind middle grade but it wouldn't be my first like thing to pick up but I thought I love to support my friends and their little bookshop things so I will read the first book and the back says, desperate to impress her snooty schoolmates and embarrassed to be living at the museum where her mother works, she lights the cursed lamp of Barata. It can't actually be cursed, can it? After accidentally freeing an ancient demon and freezing her classmates and her mother in time, Aru must fix things before the ancient god of destruction is awoken. And there's a little bit more than that, but that sounds quite fun. And I'm hoping I really enjoy this. I don't know anything about this author, and I never actually even heard of this book until Michelle talked about it in her video. So <laughs> if I don't like it, I'm blaming you, Michelle. But overall, it should be fun. It's a little middle grade. Can't really normally go wrong with a middle grade book. So that was all the books that I have read. I just remembered that when you do book haul videos, the thumbnail has to be you holding all the books. Oh, jeez. Oh well, <laughs> I will get to that in a minute. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts on any of these books, I actually would really love to know anyone's thoughts on the Wicked books if you've read them. Um, because I haven't really heard anyone ever talk about them other than there's a podcast I listen to called Musical Splaining. I don't even care about musicals, but I just love this podcast because it used to be hosted by Lindsay Ellis, but she left. Now there's a new host, but it's still good. So it's still listen. Anyway, they've done an episode on Wicked and they talked about the book quite a lot. So any information I know about the book is from that podcast. Not really but book reads. Book reads? Oh my god. I meant to say um, booktube and I meant to say goodreads and I said book reads. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Please leave a like, please subscribe, please leave a comment and goodbye.